Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the very important and frequently asked interview scenario that is being asked in multiple interviews. So I thought of covering up that is, you know, how to display minimum and maximum for a given date range using window function. Okay, so let us get started without wasting much time. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So I'm just preparing my view using category okay and i am also taking my order date because i need at a month level okay so maybe i'll convert that into month here and uh, i'll just uh, add sales here okay now now what i need is for every category here that is available i want to highlight minimum and maximum sales Okay, that I wanted to. Okay, and according to the interviewer, we need it using window function. So I am going to show you two methods. Okay, you can try an alternate method using LOD function if that is possible, and you can comment in the comment section because it is always better to have an alternate approach to any given question that will always help you. So when you are trying to answer this question in interview and you have written successfully in window function using window function, then interviewer might ask you what are the alternate ways to do that. So I want you guys to be ready with that answers as well. Okay, so first method is if I go to label option here, you should see min and max. Okay, so here you can adjust and you will get the value. So I'm just clicking on this. Now you see here min and max when I selected it is giving me automatically min and max. So this is the most convenient method. Okay, but I don't want to do that. Like I said, we want using window function. So let us try to write a window function. So I'm writing it as uh, max here. And if my sum of sales is equal to I'm using window max function here. Okay, of sum of sales, then then return sum of sales. Okay, else I'm just printing null and I'm ending it. Now, what this will do, it is finding out the maximum from the given window here. So, for each furniture, this is the window. For each office supplies, this is the window. So here it will try to find out what is the maximum value. So it is somewhere here. Okay. So I'm just clicking on apply and okay. Same likewise, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find out. So let us try to drag this on label and first see if it is working. So it is giving us the maximum sales, which is 124. Likewise, we want to find out minimum. It is somewhere here. We should get this. Okay. I'm just trying to duplicate this. And instead of win windows max, we can use window min function. Okay. So if you are able to frame this statement, I think you are in a very good situation. Okay. So I'm just writing window min here. Click on apply and okay. And now if I bring in this, it should give me this. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm trying to just, you know, optimize my view. So I, I just want to highlight only those minimum and maximum in my view. Okay, and I don't want this line chart to be highlighted. How can I achieve that? So I am taking my measure value field here and I'm dropping it right next to my sum of sales. And I'm just doing a dual axis here which will merge my sum of sales with measure values, right? But we only need max and min that we have created. So I am only taking those fields here. So I'm just exclude max and min, apply and okay. If you see, only max and min we got here, but let us use a better colors and also adjust. So for measure values, I'm trying to use circle here. Okay, and maybe I can uh, increase or decrease the size here. And uh, I just don't want this. 
ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ so i just want to sync this as well and i'm going to color shelf here okay edit colors so for max uh, i'm just using random colors and for sales i'm just graying it out click on apply and okay now if you observe so min and max are getting highlighted so this is how we can solve this problem in two ways i recommend you or encourage you to try using lod as well and comment it if at all you have got the solution let us see how many of us will be able to solve that so that was that was the question that was also asked in multiple interviews but i i i want you guys to try that and let me know so that's it from my side in this video i hope you have enjoyed it if if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment is a for sure see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day